Now I'm going to pour some out. Boiling water in here. First put your gloves on. Safety first. Around here it's usually safety last. This is one gallon of water brought to a boil. We're going to pour most of it in. Okay, that's the one hardest part. Maybe a little more. Now the next hardest part, we've got to mix it up. Get yourself the best $10 mixer you can get. And mix it together. I pull it together. Mix it to taste, whatever consistency you like. Some people like it really thick. Some people like it a little more runny. Getting a basic, basic mix, and then I'm going to add the rest of the water and smooth it out. See it starting to like bog down a little bit. So, okay. So safety laps. Burn my hands. Put the rest of the water in. Get rid of that thing. And I'm gonna pull this in. The rest of this water. Now this recipe's been around forever. Works really good. And it's basically the same mix as all other high glues that you buy on the market. Except for what they do, like at some of them, is they'll put uh, sand or cob dust in there to make it appear more sticky and to make it grip. But all that does is keep your uh, skin from moving around and it makes them feel good, it makes them feel better because it feels stickier. Some other high glues you make is like rendered down latex cough or something. Mix smooth, put a little dye in it. And then you get guys that'll pay 150 bucks for a bucket of that. Now just doing this, this two things, we have to put an anti-molding agent in it. For the anti-molding agent, we're going to use pine salt. And that's going to keep it from molding. I make one batch a month. And I'm going to mix this till I like the smoothness of it. You can see about how thick it is. It's going to get a little thinner when we put in our uh, pine saw. So we're going to add that. We're going to add about a cup, a couple cups I mean. So it's about that much. I don't know. Basically, that's all you got to do to make hide glue. Now, there's one other thing that we'll do. We're going to add a little wood glue for extra kick. This is really important if you're going to the circus. You want to make sure you don't have any drummage at all. So, um, a so we're going to add, I don't know, like 20 ounces of this, a little less, but you have to let the glue cool down to 
before you put this in or else it'll curdle. So I'm going to let this cool down for a while and I've almost got it mixed how I want it. I'm going to stop because when I add the rest of this it's going to mix it to the consistency that I like. And um, like I said if this stuff is great glue, works great, it's been working for a hundred years. If you don't stick it, think it'll stick, stick your hand in there, you can glue your fingers together when you let it dry. So I look forward to seeing you next week. Let me know how your glue works, and we'll see you next time on Chuck's Tuesday Tips.